According to the UN, 90% of Ukrainian war prisoners were tortured in Russia. Russian occupiers torture civilians in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. Mass murders of Ukrainians, violence against women and children, the destruction of entire villages and towns, and the illegal deportation of tens of thousands of small Ukrainians. All these are signs of the genocide of the Ukrainian people. The Federation has actually legislated the dehumanization of Ukrainians, experts say. From a socio-political point of view, genocide is obvious, as we constantly hear from the media and from the behavior of soldiers, their motivation for action. And this genocidal motivation from a socio-political point of view, it is obvious. At the same time, one of the main evidences is the mass and systematic nature with a clearly defined paternal pattern of destruction of a national group. According to the study by the Center of Strategic Communications and Information Security, mass destruction policy is in the Federation at the legislative level. It's a NISCA. This is a series of blatantly discriminatory norms against Ukrainians. Both Ukrainians in the occupied territories that Russia controls and Russian citizens of Ukrainian ethnic origin. In particular, it is forbidden to be members of public organizations in the Russian Federation that are associated with the Ukrainian diaspora, for example, abroad. They have lists of undesirable organizations, in particular the World Congress of Ukrainians. Following the Russian president, Kremlin propagandists are constantly indoctrinating Russians that Ukraine has no history of its own. They deny the very existence of the Ukrainian state and people. Putin and the Russian authorities in general do not recognize the existence of the Ukrainian people. They live within the imperial paradigm of a triune nation. And of course, it follows that if there is no Ukrainian people, there is no Ukrainian language, no Ukrainian identity. In fact, at the state level, they say that Ukrainians did not exist and should not exist. This is part of the genocidal policy. Even school history textbooks do not describe Ukrainians as a historically formed nation. Analysts say Russia's genocidal policy towards Ukraine has a long history. Let's talk about the imperial policy of Russia as an empire. It was built on the fact that it eroded the national identity of the nations that were part of it. And the notion of Russian is a certain collective category. It was also in the Soviet Union. Mass resettlement of Crimean Tatars, Chechens, famine against Ukrainians. It is all a mosaic of those actions to erase the national identity. The Office of the Prosecutor General of Ukraine and international partners are collecting evidence of the genocide of the Ukrainian people. Earlier, the Prosecutor General of Ukraine said that the best legal experts were involved in this work, but the crime of genocide is one of the most difficult to prove. In international practice, only 2% have resulted in convictions. These are genocides in Rwanda, Bosnia and Srebrenica, reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.